Good morning everybody, what's happening? Hope everyone's well. So today I'm heading from Portland to Seattle. I'm gonna be there for the next two nights. Um, it was super busy so I'm happy to stay in two different hostels, um, which should be fun. Um, but it's not, not a long drive up there, it's only like two hours or so. So uh, I'll cruise up there today, have a wander around the city. Um, I headed up the Space Needle this evening, so hopefully we should get some cool views from up there. Um, but yeah, it should be a good day. It's a little bit cooler today, so a bit more comfortable, but let's see what happens. I think it's going to be fun. So, it's going well. About an hour or so away from Seattle and pretty much come to stop the freeway. I guess there's been some accident ahead because a ton of uh, like emergency vehicles have been rushing past. Hopefully nobody's too injured. I uh, hope everyone's okay and it's just a minor bump and they can get it sorted and we can get moving again. So guys, I was just driving down the highway and spotted a sign for Five Guys. And there's a lot of hype about this place in the UK at the moment. It's just come over. It's American like I think burger place. So I've had to like stop, get food, I need to check this place out. That is a tasty burger, guys. Five guys, come check it out. They got it sorted. That's five guys done. Oh, that was good. I wasn't even that hungry, but incredible. Do this like the freshest burgers. Oh, incredible fries and great shakes. If you're ever in America, five guys have to do it. I think there's a couple around the world now. I know there's definitely one in London, I think. And there might be a few other places, so you might be able to get it in your city. I don't know, have a look on the website, but it is a must. It's so good. Right, that's it. I'm only about to drive in. I need to get to Seattle. It's like nearly two, so get back on the road. Made it to Seattle, found the most sketchiest underground parking ever, which apparently vehicles get broken into, so I need to like make sure there's nothing inside. I can leave it here till 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I've got to take everything out. Uh, and then I'm gonna go run around Seattle. Um, I think it's like a 40 minute walk to Space Needle area, so we'll go check it out. Guys, top tip if you're coming to Space Needle, pre-book your ticket online. There's a massive queue there. I have mine already booked. Flash the little barcode. Straight on through, please, sir. It's cheaper as well. This is something I've seen in films and stuff for years and always wanted to do. So it's going to be a fun time. Yes, we have a cool trip here for you all. We're headed up to our observation deck. Guys, so that's just done at the top of the Sky Needle. Space Needle? Space Needle. 
that is something, that view is something I've seen in movies from when I was a child and I've always wanted to come check it out. So it was incredible to actually be up there and see over that entire city. Um, I was learning all about the facts about how it's built and it took flights from like 406 days from the start of construction and it was really sketched out on a, a napkin in like 1956 or something. Yeah, it's cool. If you're here, it's a must-see. Remember, book online first.